Do you watch someone on Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube and you want to support them but you don't have the funds to? In this video right here, I'm going to show you the top ways to support your favorite streamer for free. Hey guys, Wall for Games coming at you from my stream support playlist where we bring streamers, broadcasters, and cameras the tools they need to optimize their online content. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. I've been streaming on Twitch for three years now and I love doing it. A lot of people bring a lot of smiles to my face and I bring a lot of smiles to their face every time I broadcast. But within my three years, I've noticed a common theme. A lot of people feel bad that they can't support you whether it be through subscriptions to your channel or donations to you or actually buying something through one of your stores, whether it be some art or some swag. And you shouldn't feel bad or deterred from being in that channel. There's a lot of things that you can do for free that make a huge impact on big, medium, and even small streamers. I'm gonna go over all the tips, tricks, and ways that you can make a big impact for your favorite streamer. Let's start right now. When watching one of your favorite streamers, lurking is a-okay. Chatting is better. Participation is king. If you can get your channel community to have a lot of engagement, you're gonna see a lot more solid flow happen within your channel. Now, I know you don't wanna call out lurkers, but if you're a viewer who lurks a lot, try engaging with a few dialogues of chat and move yourself up because if you want to support that streamer it's going to make the stream flow a lot better if you're a chatter perhaps participate a little bit more in uh, song requests or welcoming new visitors to the channel and answering simple questions that the streamer might miss and if you're already a mod do your best to help regulate the channel and keep the flow going nothing's harder on a streamer when nothing's hap happening in the channel it's my job to make sure that content is flowing, but you guys get to keep it engaged and flow it in the directions that you want to. So as a viewer, as a regular, as a mod, you guys actually have a lot of power on how the channel will be produced for the audience coming in. Number two, if you're a regular or a mod and new people come into the channel, welcome them. Say hello, say how's your day. Do you play the game that the streamer is currently playing at the moment? There's a bunch of questions you can ask them that make them feel welcome. And that's the key point. Make new people feel welcome so they'll stick around and have a good time because those numbers that keep growing help that streamer that you're trying to help support. Numbers are huge for a streamer because more eyeballs looking at them may engage in different ways or new avenues that may pay off later down the road. So key point is welcome new people into the channel and engage with them as well. Number three, if they have any social media accounts, follow them, follow them right now. Social media has a huge impact for any streamer out there. It's a great way for a streamer to reach out to his community, ask for feedback, ask anything they want to know about the channel itself or the streamer itself, give schedule updates, ways for raffles, or just in general, ways to promote their channel for anything out there. If the streamer makes any comments, take a few moments and like it and comment back. If the streamer is promoting something like a giveaway or a charity or a new game or a new schedule that they're gonna be doing, go ahead and retweet and comment on that. When you retweet, there's a chance that you might spread that message to somebody else that might be engaged to watching the same person. Retweets are huge. They help that person grow a lot. And if they can get new followers on social media accounts, those in turn might transition into numbers on their streaming platform as well. So feel free to engage a lot on their social media. This has a bigger impact than you think. And one of the biggest impacts that it might have that you'll never know about is it makes the streamer feel like they're doing a great job. When they get likes, they get retweets, they get comments, it shows they have a social influence and that they're doing very well with their channel and it makes them feel better. Number four, if you already follow that streamer on their social media, you're probably not doing the best to help promote them. And I don't mean you have to promote them every day, every week, anything like that. Simple promotions make a huge impact. And one of the best ways you can do is actually take a clip from their channel, take something that shows something good. Don't always do a fail or something that embarrasses them, but sometimes those pay off as well. Take a clip and actually post it on your social media account. 
tag that streamer so that way they can retweet it. But it shows that you're engaging, plus all the people that are under your social media account can look at that streamer and might be engaged to follow or watch that streamer as well. Number five, don't be afraid to give feedback to the streamer. As a streamer, a lot of us are gonna try a bunch of different things to see what sticks for a community or what works best for growth on Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube. And sometimes we don't know what works best within our channel and our community because we don't get any feedback. The only thing we have to go off is statistics and analytics and numbers. But if you let us know what parts of a stream you do enjoy or what parts we can fix, or even better yet, when we're streaming, let us know if we can't uh, or if you can't hear us or the music or something's blurry or underexposed, there's a lot of feedback you can have that'll have an impact on our stream. Don't be afraid to speak up. Just make sure you do it in a polite manner. Number six, if your streamer that you're currently watching does actually promote their channel by sending out videos or highlights, whether it be on their Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube, make sure you comment on those. There's one very important reason why is because those particular platforms, when they have user engagement through comments, it actually ranks those video hires, allowing them to have more visibility because they'll have more channel or video authority under those categories. And commenting is one of the best way those platforms actually rank those videos. So take a few moments out of your time and comment back on what you liked about the video and try to comment more than just a one or two word comment. Try to put a nice little small sentence or paragraph in there or what you enjoyed about the video. That helps immensely for a streamer who's trying to grow. Number seven, if you watch a few streamers out there and heck, we all watch a few streamers out there, one of the best things you can do is promote one streamer to another. Now. This comes with a little bit of caution. Be very diligent about how you do this. A lot of streamers are looking to branch out to find people that play either the same games or in the same category as them. Because one of the best ways for a channel to grow is host another channel that's similar. Now, a lot of people like myself, since there's thousands and thousands and thousands of streamers out there, don't know who might line up well with my community. But you know who might know? other people currently in your channel. So don't be afraid to ask, who should I follow or who should I host or who should I raid? And if you're a viewer and that person's looking for people, don't be afraid to bring it up. You can bring it up in a whisper or you can say certain things and then be like, is it okay if I recommend someone? You'd be surprised. But don't do any um, harmful promoting, if you will. But some of the best people I have ever met on uh, Twitch and YouTube were people that were actually recommended to me or people that I followed from a host and now they're actually friends. And so I think this is a huge key point that people should be accepting. Just make sure um, you do it the correct way without feeling like you're shoving someone uh, into someone's face saying, follow this person, follow this person. Number eight is one that I personally don't do well and I'm gonna try to do it better coming up is Make sure you participate in hosts and raids. And if you're currently a streamer, make sure you engage in actually doing hosts and raids to other streamers. It helps bring visibility and channel authority to that streamer and helps out immensely. And it's actually not that much extra work. And when you do go to that channel that you hosted or raid, raided, make sure you engage. It doesn't take a lot of extra participation. I as a streamer know when I get raided or hosted, it makes a huge change on um, the hypeness that's going on in my channel. I get a little more oomph in my stream and it makes me engaged to talk to the channel that just came into me. And you never know, I might have made a new friend from another streamer or the viewers that came in as well. And you don't have to do too much. Host or raid, say hello, ask a few simple questions and you don't have to stick around that long. As a streamer, I understand if you finish streaming, you probably just came off doing two, three, four, five, six hours of streaming and you're tired. So it's okay if you can only be in there for 10 or 15 minutes. Any time that you can give to another channel is gratefully thanked. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart from anybody out there that has hosted or rated me. But let's move on to our last and final point. 
If you're a streamer, you probably get hosted at one point in your life or you get raided at one point in your life. It may even happen multiple times per stream. One of the things that people don't take advantage of is shouting out the person that's hosting or raiding them. And a lot of people do this wrong. It's not good to just put exclamation point shout out and it just says the user's name and the last game they played and that's it and you move on. If you know something about the streamer that hosted or rated you, be educated about that person. Talk about what that person streams, how they're different than all the other people that currently stream the game. Talk about when they stream it. Talk about their community and if it's engaging or if it's all about uh, laughter or a certain aspect. Maybe they're really engaged in certain things of speed running or just casual gameplay. When you give all these parameters and then you say, if that interests you, you may wanna give that streamer a follow. The community is more educated on if they wanna click follow. And that will make a huge impact. So get educated about the people that host and rage you rather than just saying, go follow. Cause nobody really just goes follow if you say go follow. But if you say, hey, thanks for the host. If you guys don't know, XYZ plays Super Mario Maker. They make the best levels if you're looking for time trials. If you wanna to get to the end of the level within 10, 20, 40 seconds, and you love the rush of getting through all the Koopas, you might wanna follow his channel because he makes some of the best levels out there. Go ahead and give that guy a nice follow. When you give them an educated reason, and you talk about them in certain aspects that's gonna make your audience engaged to actually follow that if they're inclined, boom, you help them out. I wanna give out one more bonus tip that you can use to help a streamer that you wanna support. If that streamer's on Twitch, you can get free bits to help support that streamer. All you need to do is click on the get bits icon. If you're not sure how to do that, I'm gonna put a card up here of another video that I made in the past that'll help you walk you through the process. But basically you just watch a couple of ads, depending on which ad you watch and your engagement in it, you'll get somewhere from a couple of bits to a handful of bits. And you can use these bits to donate to the actual streamer that you're watching or a few different streamers, depending on how you wanna spread the wealth. And this has a big impact for the streamer. Believe it or not, if you can get 10 bits from 10 streamers per stream and you stream 30 times in a month, which is pretty average for a lot of people out there, that's gonna equate to $30 by the end of the month. And you can use that money to uh, reinvest into your stream. You can buy new streaming equipment like uh, cameras, microphones, cables, controllers, things like that. Or you can invest it into video games to create more content for your stream and you can keep letting in the snowball and it's all free. So go ahead and check out that link I put up there. It helps a streamer out immensely. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it because I like to help support uh, streamers whenever I can, whether they're small, medium or large. All the support that I can give, I know is appreciated by them and I appreciate all the support I get when I'm streaming. So feel free to share this with all your viewers, regulars, mods, and other streamers out there because it'd be nice to get people educated on how they can support a streamer for free. Once again, guys, my name is Wall for Games. If you'd like to follow me on all of my social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You can also like this video on YouTube, give it a thumbs up and share it, or you can watch me paint and play games all the time on Twitch and if you want to support me you can click down below and see my store and buy a nice piece of art from me. I will see you guys all next time in the next stream support video. Have a good one and take care. Peace.